Hey guys, I'm Nikki Dinky. Welcome to my kitchen. So for me, the holidays always mean that I am enjoying certain types of food. And sweet potatoes are definitely on that list. This is the time of year that I really crave them. And the great thing is that sweet potatoes are really, really good for you. However, when you start adding tons of butter and sugar and cream, you take something that's really good for you and you make it, well, not so good for you. But today, I'm gonna show you my sweet potato souffle, and I'm gonna show you just how it can be super healthy and super, super flavorful. I'm telling you, this just might be your new favorite sweet potato recipe. Well, stick with me and find out. Time to get our sweet potatoes nice and soft so we can puree them up and then add in lots of awesome stuff. What I've got here is six large to extra large sweet potatoes, like this size, which is pretty big. So you want about six of these or you want five pounds worth. This is gonna make a really nice big casserole for us, something that would feed multiple people at a holiday dinner. See how perfect that is? So what I've done and what I'll continue doing with these guys I just kind of cut them into these little, maybe like one inch squares. You know, the smaller you cut them, the quicker they're gonna cook, the bigger they might take an extra minute, but no big deal either way. What I'm gonna do with these once they're all cut is I'm gonna put them in this pot. I've got an inch of boiling water in here, and once they're in, I'm gonna make sure the lid is on there, and I'm gonna give them a nice little steam bath. Once they're nice and mushy, like I can just easily squish them with my hand, then I know that they're ready. Now that our sweet potatoes are all mashed up, we can add in all the fun stuff and get it in the oven. Pretty much, I am going to use this Danon Oikos Greek nonfat yogurt instead of any of that cream or butter. I know, it sounds kind of crazy, but because the Greek yogurt is so thick and creamy, even though it's got no fat in it, it really replaces our fat. It gives it that creaminess, it gives it that mouth feel, and of course, you know, it's 80 calories and 15 grams of protein. So we're getting a lot of benefit from the Greek yogurt itself while we're also replacing it, you know, instead of butter, which is, this is much better for you. So I've got two containers of this, just the plain kind. I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of dark brown sugar, a quarter cup of honey. So we are putting a little bit of sugar in here, but not very much in comparison to a normal recipe. Then I've got two eggs back here and also my blend of spices. I of course have salt, that's always important. But I've also got some nutmeg, some clove, and some cinnamon, and quite a bit of them. They're really gonna add that holiday feel and smell. Oh, your house is gonna smell ridiculous. But it's gonna really make this dish just that much extra special. Just wait till you taste this. Delicious. And then last but not least, I've got a really cool little secret ingredient for the end. We're gonna put this in a 350 oven for about 40 minutes. Just, it's almost done. I want you to add on some pecans and some cranberries to the top. The cranberries give it this chewiness, which I think is just really delicious. And the pecans offer that textural difference. So you've got the soft sweet potatoes and the crunchy pecans. But you don't want to put this on right now because if it's spent 40 minutes in the oven, the pecans and the cranberries are going to burn. So when it's almost done, just sprinkle this on top and let it kind of warm through. Or you can just sprinkle it on and let it not warm through. It's not the end of the world. Let me get this together, let me get this in the oven because I am ready to eat some sweet potatoes.
Now those are some good looking sweet potatoes. And I'm telling you, they might taste good, they might look good, but they smell even better. The smell is so out of control, it really makes it for me. It kind of just fills your house, that whole warmth of winter and the holidays. Oh, delicious. Well, I'm gonna go enjoy my sweet potatoes. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this recipe. Remember, always have fun in the kitchen, and I'll see you guys next time.